Greetings, this is Mr. Kaslin. This is another angular speed, linear speed problem for pre-calculus. I've said in previous videos that I think this could be one of the tougher subjects in pre-calc just because the word problems are all different. They all have to be, there's not one perfect approach that will solve all of them. Okay, in this one, we're dealing with a bicycle. Let's see if I can uh, spell bicycle correctly. That would be a good start. I guess that's why I'm the math teacher, not the English teacher. All right, we have a bicycle wheel. The diameter of the wheel is 26 inches. That obviously means the radius is 13. It's traveling at a speed of 35 miles per hour. Now, 35 miles per hour, excuse me while I try to write with my mouse. Now, that is a linear speed. That is how the speed at which the vehicle that the wheel attached is attached to is traveling. Okay, and we're trying to figure out how many revolutions per minute the wheels are turning. So we're trying to figure out how fast these tires are turning. That's called your angular speed. So in this one, they give you a linear speed, and we're trying to translate it into an angular speed. Now, the difficult this is going to be a units cancellation problem, meaning we have a lot of units we have to deal with. Notice that they give you the diameter in inches but they give you the speed in miles okay miles per hour so you're dealing with inches you're dealing with miles you're dealing with hours and you're dealing with minutes okay so we gotta convert all these things into revolutions per minute so kinda of watch how I do this um, I've gotta think about all the units I'm dealing with I'm starting with 35 miles per hour okay and when I'm done okay what do I want when I'm done I want revolutions per minute when I'm done so wait let's go over here to the right when we're done this number that we're gonna get is in revolutions per minute okay so the first thing I notice is that one of these is in hours one of these is in minutes okay so we're going to have to multiply something that's going to translate hours to minutes. So to get this hours to cancel out, I need hours at the top. I need minutes at the bottom. Okay, so how many minutes are there in an hour? Well, there's 60. 60 goes down with the minutes. 60 minutes in one hour. So what's going to happen is this hour in the bottom is going to cancel with that hours on the top. Okay. So if we just did this calculation, we'd end up with miles per minute. Okay, miles per minute. But we want revolutions per minute. So we've got to figure out how to translate miles into revolutions. Okay. So again, let's think about when we travel, we got to figure out with this wheel, when it travels one revolution, how far is it going? And that's, that's related to the circumference. So in a lot of these wheel problems, think about you're always going to have to figure out how far is it going per revolution. So remember the circumference is 2 pi r. Okay, in this case r is half of the diameter is given, so it's 13. Okay, so 2 pi times 13 is equal to, it's traveling 26 pi. 26 pi inches per one revolution. Okay, so when spinning around once, it's going 26 pi. Now you could have said, isn't that just the same as um, pi times d? Yes, circumference is 2 pi r, or it's just pi times d. Okay, so this is going to help us. Okay, remember when we're done, we want revolutions on top. Okay, so I'm going to put, we got to flip this, we got to say multiply it by one revolution over 26 pi inches. I really, excuse me for my for my writing, I still have not got a, bought a stylus that will, will help me write better than with my mouse. Okay, let's try this again. So we have one revolution, and in one revolution you go 26 
inches. Okay, so it's going to be this number times this number times this number. So let's see so far what we have. Remember, we have to get things cancel out so that we end up with revolutions per minute. My hours cancel. Okay, I know I want revolutions per minute. So those two units are going to stay there. So what we need is we've got miles. We have to figure out how many um, inches there are in a mile. Okay, so, so we're converting. Remember, the speed was miles per hour, and we want. And we have revolutions per inch, so we have to figure out how many miles are there in an inch. Okay, that's kind of tricky. Not everyone knows it off the top of their head. Well, how many feet are there in a mile? I lived in Denver for a while. Denver calls itself the Mile High City, so for some reason I know that number. It's um, 5,280 feet per mile. That's how many feet there are in a per mile, but we want inches, so each of those feet we have to multiply by another 12 inches. Okay, I did this calculation a little bit ago, and it's 6,300, I'm sorry, uh, 63,360 inches per mile. It's a lot of inches, but think about counting off all the inches in a full mile. Okay, so that number is going to go up. We're going to put that number up in here. Okay, what we have 63. Three hundred and sixty inches per one mile. Okay, now what's that going to be equal to? Let's first check our units. Okay, so now see how miles on top cancels with miles on the bottom, inches on the bottom cancels with inches on top. We're going to be re left with a number that's revolutions per minute. Okay, so we took our linear speed. We had to figure out how many, how far each time it goes around, how far it travels, and then we had to convert hours to minutes, and we had to convert our miles to inches. Okay, so when we're left, basically it's just um, you're using your calculator. Okay, so you're going to take everything on top 35 times. 63,360 and divide it by everything on the bottom which is 60 times 26 pi. When you do that you're going to get 12, let me keep this on the screen 452.5.5 what? Remember it's what's the units that are left? Revolutions Per minute, revolutions per minute. Remember, is a it's an angular speed. How fast is is that wheel spinning around? Okay, so in this case, they gave us linear speed. We converted it to angular speed, but we had a lot of unit conversion to work out in this problem. All right, sorry, it wasn't a perfect explanation, but hopefully you can watch this video several times. You write nicer than I do, so you can uh, write all this down, make good sense of it, and see how all our units cancel out. Hope this helps.